find the surface area, right? Circular cylinder top with a hemisphere. So it's a half a sphere, that's what a hemisphere is, on top of a right circular cylinder. Okay, uh, well, this one can be a little tricky. Let's, uh, let's take it in pieces. So first off, we have the half sphere on the top, the half sphere top. What's that going to be? Well, the formula for a sphere for the surface area. Now, remember, we're just wanting surface area, not volume. We don't want anything inside. We're not filling this thing up with water or something. It's a little, imagine it is a little toy uh, that we're painting. Surface area is like you're painting all the surfaces, all the outside. So the sphere uh, formula for the surface area is 4 pi r squared, but we only have a half a sphere, so it's half times 4 pi r squared, because we have half a sphere. So that'll handle the top. Now, what about the sides? How are we going to do the sides? So the sides, remember the formula uh, for the sides... These, these sides right here going around. The sides is going to be 2 pi r h because it's 2 pi r all the way around. That's the circumference of a circle. And h is the height, right? Because if you cut this open, it would, and it would unroll like a big rectangle, wouldn't it? Remember us talking about that? And that would be 20 tall and 2 pi r wide. That's where we get that formula, 2 pi r h. So that's the sides. And then the last piece of the puzzle is the bottom. The bottom is a circle. So that's pi r squared. So there's the three pieces we need to add up. Now a common mistake that a lot of people make on this is they'll throw in the top because they'll just think, well, we got to do the bottom and the top up here. No, no, no. That, that top uh, right there, that circle, that's not the top. The top is this big hemisphere, the half, half a ball, half a sphere. The top is not this circle. We don't need another pi r squared. We don't need two pi r squared there. We just need one, right? Because that circle is not the top. The top is the half a sphere, right? So watch out for that. Easy mistake to make. Okay, let's work this thing out then. A half times four times pi. What's the radius? Radius is from the middle to the edge, isn't it? So in other words, the radius is from there to there. The radius is only 6, because it's 12 all the way across. The radius is 6. Plus, and then 2 pi r, again, the radius is 6. The height is right here. It's the 20. And, again, the radius is 6. Okay. So let's work these out on your calculator. If you multiply this on your calculator, a half times 4 times 6 squared we're going to get, uh, let's see, two, uh, 72 pi plus, and then 2 times 6 times 20. I think it's 240 pi, if I'm doing that right. Let's see, 12, 24, yeah, 240 pi. And then the last part, this is 36 pi. So if you add all these up together, I'm going to do that in my calculator right now. 72 plus 240 plus 36. I'm getting 3... 48 pi. This plus this plus this. 348 pi in the units. Square feet because it's area, which is always square units, and we're talking feet on this one. So there we go. We have the half a sphere top, the sides, which is 2 pi rh, and the bottom, which is pi r squared. There we go.